So we, for today we have the fin module with the taller heat sinks on it, and one, one new thing that we added to them was the temp sensor. So at the same time we introduced this mod utility that uh, allows you to see SPD data, so what, how it's programmed, you know, part number, what, if there's a performance profile. And then what was brand new with the fin was this temp sensor, so real time it monitors actual temperature of each individual module. A lot of the enthusiasts over clockers are really into the metrics of the system, you know, GP, CPU, why not enable them with the memory temperatures as well. Um, but with Smart Tracer, our current tracer just has the static lights, specific color, specific pattern, um, and they change speed and frequency of the LEDs on actual memory read writes. With this new version, with Smart Tracer, we've added this lights tab, and what you get is the ability to manipulate some of the features within the module. So for right now, all the lights are off, but with the click of a button, I can enable and turn on the individual patterns for the individual colors. And we can also switch colors. There's two different color combinations actually in this machine. There is a uh, orange and blue set of sticks. So one channel, you know, one set of channels set up with orange and blue, and then there's a red and green set of modules. Um, on top of that, I can change the pattern on the fly. So there's four preset patterns. This is one we call lava. We do a little, uh, we do a little police action there, red and blue. Oh, hey, they're too bright. Guess what? We can turn them down a notch. So, so you know, if your rooms, you know, if you don't want the disco lights, guess what? You can go in and adjust the uh, adjust the brightness back and forth. Um, um, and then again, you have the pattern ability to change. Currently today we ship with just one pattern and we call it inside out, you know, this central pattern. Oh, so here now it's actually running a mem test, so you'll see that the frequency of the LED patterns change based based on the uh, activity. Yeah. Um, so this is super intense, they're almost all lit because I think somebody started this with every bit of memory running, so I'm gonna actually stop a couple of these. But again, it adds some features that the user can customize the look and feel inside their case to match whatever suits their mood, you know, or um, you know, if, it's, if they want to kind of take a break from the lights, they can turn them off. You can also change the pattern of the, the ground effects lights that are on the bottom of the modules. Those are constant glow. Um, you can, so independently, you can do the top activity or the bottom running lights. Um, again, change the, the brightness, change the pattern, uh, and change the colors between two options. And lastly, you, we can actually get some usage information so we can show you current voltage that the modules are running and uh, how long the system or the actual memory has been powered up. So this, this, these particular modules have been running four days, four hours in this, in this machine. And then it gives you sort of this uh, pseudo-odometer that kind of gives you, I'm not sure exactly what this, you know, 40 trillion whatever number is, but it's a low usage. We've got to get the engineers to give us an exact breakout on the changes, but 